Okay, evaluating sources. This is an important skill that you really need lifelong, and especially in the world we live in today. Um, as President Obama quoted just recently, um, we really need to discriminate between serious arguments and propaganda, um, not only in the classroom when you're doing a research paper, but in your everyday life. All right, so I'm hoping to give you the skills to look through your social media, look through any website that you might be on to decipher if you really can trust the information that you're looking at. As an example, if we were standing at a newsstand looking at print media, I think we very easily could look at this and not trust any of these if we were trying to decide if there was extraterrestrial life outside of our planet. Um, right, Mad Magazine, it's satirical. Um, Weekly World News and the Enquirer are just really fake <laughs> and sensational. And that UFO Truth Magazine, I never heard of that. Why would I trust that? Um, and, you know, that that's how you would judge this if you were in a newsstand. But then you might come across Scientific America and Time. Well, they're trusted. Um, we've known them all growing up. Um, but you still sort of need to look into them. Uh, make sure you really can trust the information. You might also see this Journal of Astrobiology and Outreach. A less fancier name, a less fancy cover, uh, but it holds some weight, and when you look inside, you see that it's scholarly content and backed up with a whole lot of research. This is probably the source you would pick. Pretty easy when you're looking at print, and something that we're very used to making judgment calls on. But in our day and age, we also need to make those judgment calls for anything online, and that does take a little bit of time, since there's so much out there that we're not used to seeing. In my next video, I'm going to show you a little bit about deciding what is crap and what is not.